Sementara itu, Pegawai Kanan Perlindungan Suruhanjaya Tinggi Bangsa-Bangsa Bersatu bagi Pelarian atau UNHCR, Kin Syam berpendapat, terdapat aspek yang boleh diselaraskan terlebih dahulu sementara menanti tindakan daripada kerajaan. Also in the meantime while we wait for those policy changes uh, there are some sort of actionable uh, goals we can pursue um, I know in the report it mentions you know increased resources or mobilizing resources for ALCs uh, that's obviously key but when we do that we can't forget that 70% of refugee children aren't even accessing ALCs so when we talk about mobilizing resources it needs to be directed towards expanding access right and making sure we capture more of those students those those kids who, who aren't having any kind of education opportunity um, and then when it comes to to health care um, of course you know reduced fees uh, would, would be very important if, if that can come from the government something we're also trying to explore is a health insurance scheme and you know that would address many problems that's sort of part actionable part advocacy because insurance providers in theory can act without policy change but they only do that if fees are lowered or if there's a legal framework in place to ensure that there's a large pool of insured refugees, right?